Despite her sunny facade, Andrea McLean has struggled with mental health issues. Here, she reveals how she's coping with the help of her family and loose women friends. Andrea McLean shocked fans when she admitted live on Loose Women that she'd suffered a breakdown. The usually chipper mother of two courageously admitted recently she'd secretly been undergoing a battle with depression. So when S Magazine catches up with her during lockdown, top of the agenda is to find out how she's doing now. So much better, Andrea says as she breathes out. It's one of these things that doesn't just happen overnight, she adds, referring to her breakdown. Mine is a build-up of 15 years of holding things in and thinking, I'm all right, I'm all right. And I wasn't all right. I'd never had therapy before and so it was a game changer. It made me realize that looking after your mental health is like gardening. You need to keep at it because plants will die and weeds will grow and I realized it's an ongoing thing. Like this morning I woke up and thought, I feel a bit glum today. But I put on the greatest showman soundtrack and was singing away in the bathroom and I meditated before this, this is going to sound utterly ridiculous, but I thought, think of a happy place. And I remembered a beach in Ibiza I went to with all the loose women, so before we spoke I was in Ibiza. The panelist, who says her triggers are, if people are being aggressive or intimidating, credits husband Nick Feeney for helping her through her darkest times and traumas. He's been brilliant and he understands and that's what's important, she says. I thought about it long and hard. Why did I have it, my breakdown, now? I realized, actually, it's because I know I'm with someone who'll catch me. How did she conceal her demons from other people? Someone like me, who likes to make other people feel good, I would much rather walk into a room and go, hey, how are you, than, oh my god, my life is awful. To have someone at home that you can breathe out and say, I feel terrible, to is a compliment to Nick in a weird sort of way. <laughs>